we can store systems of linear equations as augmented matrices in the sense that if we're given an augmented matrix, we can write down the corresponding system of equations. Let's give an example of that. Suppose we're given a matrix and we are told that this matrix is an augmented matrix. So it's storing a system of linear equations, and we want to know what those equations are. Each row corresponds to an equation, so there are two equations. The columns correspond to variables, except for the last column, which corresponds to equality. And now we have to make a choice. It's not an important choice, but the only piece of information not stored in this matrix tricks is what to call our variables, whether they're x and y, or x1 and x2, or something else. Let's go with x1 and x2. So now we just Take the first row corresponding to the first equation and re we read across one X one plus four X two equals seven. That's the first equation in the system. For the second, we look at the second row, 2x1 plus 6x2 equals 3. And there is the system of linear equations that this matrix was storing. One word of warning, not every matrix is the augmented matrix to a system of linear equations. So, for example, on Sakai, your grades in the grade book are stored in a matrix. Each row corresponds to a student. Each column corresponds to an assignment. And that's not an augmented matrix. And if you did something like this with that matrix, you'd get to gibberish. So make sure you actually have an augmented matrix of a system before you take it and convert it into a system.